Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony. If this is your first time here, welcome. So today I'm just here with a really quick video. I made this unit yesterday. This is a crochet wig unit and I made it and I actually just decided to turn on the camera while I was doing it just in case I wanted to share the end result with you guys and uh, yeah, this is it and I'm very happy with it. It's actually my first fourth time making a wig like this using this particular brand of hair so I'm really kind of skilled with it now. So I made it and I have it with a side part now but you can definitely wear it with a middle part or on the part on the other side. It is a crochet wig so totally pliable. You can bend it to your will and you can wear it right in the middle just like this. Just really quickly, the hair is the Free Trust Braid Afro Screw Braid, and that's in the color 1B, and it says three times, and I think, at first, I thought that it was because maybe they twisted it three times, like did a three-strand twist, and that's why the curl pattern comes out this way, but I think that it more has to do with the fact that there's three bundles in the package, and that was like a light bulb moment for me, like five minutes ago. Yeah, it has three bundles on the inside there. And as you can see, it cost me $16.99. I wear this wig probably more than any other hairstyle. I just, I absolutely love it. This particular style, this particular wig, it uses just one pack. So all three of these bundles in this head right here. And I have a very large head, so you might not even need to use all three bundles but I certainly did so really quickly I'm just gonna tell you how I installed the wig first I put on a regular run-of-the-mill run of the, run of the mill, uh, wig cap and the reason why I did that is because I do like making my wigs on my head instead of on the mannequin head just because the mannequins head is much smaller than my own head and also because crochet hair tends to grow really really fast especially once you separate it and if you put it all in on the mannequin head, it looks really spacey and you just think that it's not going to look be full enough and it's not going to look good. But once you start separating it on your head, it goes from here to here. The first time I made this wig, I used two and a half packs of hair. This is one pack. It was a mess. I had to take out at least one pack of hair and once you take out this hair, it's kind of ruined and you can't use it again. So that was basically a whole pack of hair down the drain because I had made the cap on my mannequin's head instead of on my own head. So that's the way I prefer to do it now, just so I can make sure that the wig is actually fit to my head. First you put on a regular wig cap, then you put on the crochet cap, which is gonna be your actual wig cap. The reason why I put that on my hair, regular wig cap on my head first is because I don't want to mess around and accidentally crochet the hair onto my real hair. So that wig cap acts as a barrier to my hair. So I can just comfortably crochet without worrying about crocheting my own hair in. I decided to wear a beige cap because you guys would be able to see my progress a little bit better. Typically I, I wear my black cap which is why I didn't realize that I had a huge hole in the back when I was crocheting. But crisis averted, I noticed that I had a hole in the cap and I just kind of crocheted around that. And then after that, I just start crocheting as normal, just like you would do on your own hair. You would just start in the back and you put them in and you're gonna space them out really far in the back because once you separate these, it just the hair grows very, very, very quickly. You want to start and space out as much as you can. You can always go back and add more hair in the gaps, but it's very hard and wasteful to have to go back and take out this particular hair to because you just added too much. You're just wasting hair. And then after I use one complete pack or one complete bundle 
I went in and I started separating the hair. And you want to separate the hair as you go along. You do not want to wait until the end to separate your hair because again, it curls really fast and you'll have one side that's much thicker than the other because it just wasn't symmetrical for whatever reason. So you definitely want to you know, um, separate the curl and then go and reassess and see how much you're going to need in that one area. You just want to go in just section by section and do an install and then separate. And then that's basically it. One thing about separating the curl though that you should know is that you don't want to go all the way down and separate the curl all the way. As you can see, I left the bottom part intact. I did not take it all the way down. And the reason why you don't want to do that is because once it's unraveled, that's when it becomes really wild and really frizzy and really difficult to manage. And it shortens this lifespan of the wig because it's tangling all the time. Keeping the ends intact not only makes it look more authentic, but it just keeps the hair in a better state for the duration that you're going to wear the wig. Or if you want to do it on your own head, it's going to extend the style. I just installed it and then I just plopped it on my head. Sometimes I leave, leave out and um, sometimes I don't. Uh, it just depends on how I feel. I don't have any leave out right now, but I do have some of my hair. I just need to slick my baby, baby hair down, which I'm not going to do. This is basically how I wear it on a daily basis. And you can see in the camera you can see right here that it just it looks very very much like a regular kinky wig except for the top it has the telltale signs of crochet knots which doesn't bother me i mean it wouldn't bother me if you see it on you know a regular crochet style so it doesn't bother me that you see it in a wig crochet it's just that's how the style is the texture of the hair is so soft and I think that's one of the things I really, really like about this hair is that it's just, it's super soft. Yeah, I can definitely rub this against my face and it doesn't scratch, feel scratchy or harsh or anything like that. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's not like Marley. It looks like Marley, but it's not Marley hair at all. Uh, does this, I, I know that I'm probably going to caption this, you know, her giving hair dupe. Is it a dupe? I don't know that it's a dupe, but I think that it's a good alternative if you don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on their kinky units. I just, I just don't want to do that. But just, I do like the style of the Her Given Hair wigs. Um, I do think that they're unique. And I do think that they, they certainly look better than a lot of other kinky units, but this is good enough for me. This is, this is definitely good enough for me. I don't feel the need to spend $500 on a unit when I think that this gives me just the kind of general look that I'm going for. So the one drawback to this particular wig is that when you cut it, it just kind of reverts. It kind of kinks up more than you probably would want it to and it gets like really harsh and tangly. And so here is the package here's the woman on the cover and she has this exact style and you can see that they cut the ends and you can see that cutting the ends just gives it a very a very fake look and I, I just I just don't like that the first time I had this wig I went in and just started cutting like you you know trying to frame it to my face the way you do with crochet wigs it's, it looked just very blunt and just very harsh at the ends. I don't know other other adjective to use, but just blunt and harsh. And the last time I did it, I just decided to leave the ends intact and that definitely solved the issue that I was having with the hair just looking very fake. That's, that's the word I'm looking for. It looked very fake when I tried to cut it and frame it to my face. Don't unravel it all the way to the ends. Leave the ends intact. I see real natural women with long, luxurious hair and their ends kind of look like this. So that looks really authentic to me. I just love that look. With that being said, because you can't cut it, you just have to 
be satisfied with the length of the hair. Personally, this is a little long for me. I would love to have the same style. We might well maybe neck length or shoulder length, but this is a little long. But again, if you cut it, you're playing with fire. So I just prefer to leave it just like this. Luckily, it kind of falls into layers and it doesn't look too too bad, you know. Yeah, it could, I could frame it a little bit more, but I just don't want to do that. I don't want to risk messing up the hair. This is fine. It looks natural. It's long. It, you know, it moves. And once you cut it, it even stops like moving like this, it kind of just all sticks together and it just, I don't know, it doesn't flow. I think I've told you guys all you need to know about this hair. Installation was 45 minutes and I just take it off at night and I put it on my mannequin head and that and it lasts me for months. You can definitely wear this as a regular crochet style. Uh, I just just know that it might not last too long because this is a kinky unit. This is kinky hair and just like with real hair and other kinky crochet hair, uh, you might, it might exhibit a lot of tangling and things like that if you sleep in it every night and you know you try to go swimming or whatever. So I would definitely keep kinky styles to wigs and that goes for all kinky hair if you want them to to last and you really want to get your money's worth i think next time i'm gonna try to get a different color because i think this washes me out just a tad bit and i'm not wearing any makeup today i'm just just being natural and i'm just doing the natural thing today if you guys have any questions or comments about this hair leave them in the comments below I'll respond, like, share, and subscribe if you like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.